Recently, I came across a tool that's like a Swiss army knife for creators, but also for anyone that wants to create videos on their PC. The tool that I'm talking about is called Wondershare Uni Converter, and it's more than just a converter. It can do anything from compressing your video files to using AI to edit your videos. So in this video, I will show you exactly how you can use it and what I use it for. Now, if you want to follow along and you want to try out Uni Converter for yourself, go to Google, search up Wondershare Uni Converter, or click the link in my description. Once you have Uniconverter downloaded, this is what you see. So we have a converter, we have a downloader and a compressor. But also we have the AI lab. And if we go over to tools, then we have these tools all available to us. So now let me show you what I exactly use this for. So the first thing that I want to show you is the converter tool. Now I use a Mac and sometimes I have an issue when I have, for example, my footage from my iPhone or I have footage from my MacBook that I want to send over to someone that's using window. Now, what I can do right now is I can take that footage. Now, let's say I have this clip right here. That's a point .mov file. Now I can load it in and now I can convert it to something else. So now I can convert it to like an MP4. I can also leave it in MOV and I can also use all of these different formats that they have. So if I do a podcast, for example, I can also do it in this format or I can use the MP3 file. Now for this, I'm just going to convert it in a MP4 and then I can even upscale it to 8K or I'm just going to leave it in 1080p and now I'm going to hit convert. And this takes like usually less than 10 seconds, depending on your file size, of course. Now, another tool that's pretty handy for creators, but also for editors or anyone that wants to download videos from the internet is the downloader tool. All you have to do in here is you can simply copy in the URL of the video that you want to download. Then you hit download and then boom, it's done. Moving on, we have the compressor and I use it all the time when I have 4K footage that I want to compress. For example, this video right here, it's around 280 megabytes for the video. Now I can compress it into a smaller video. I can also compress it into the best quality that's recommended. So let's say if you leave it like that, you have the highest quality, but also the biggest file size. And they have like a cool recommended range, which helps me a lot. I usually leave this around like 70%. Now the file size becomes a lot smaller, but the quality of the footage is still almost just as good. And this is great for when you're sending large files. For example, if you have like 8K or 4K footage and you want to share that over the internet, then that usually takes a while. But with this, you can compress your files, make them smaller, and it will also save you a ton of storage space. So besides that, let's move over to the tools. And here we can see all the different tools that we have. So you can even burn your DVDs if you're still using them or if you want to make them digital. And then we have the AI lab. Now the AI lab is pretty cool. We have a video enhancer and this works great. For example, if you receive videos through WhatsApp and WhatsApp automatically compresses your videos to have like a bad quality. Now, if I click on a video right here, so let's do a video that I have right here. Now this video was sent to me through WhatsApp. And if I load it in right now, we can kind of like denoise the video. So let me just turn out the audio. Now we have two options that we can choose from. We can add some frames in there. So for example, we can make it 120 frames per second, or we can generally denoise the model. So let's just use this and now export it. And once our video is done, I will show you side by side comparison of both of these videos. Okay, so that's pretty amazing that it has just enhanced that video. It doesn't look as shaky or as like pixelated as it was, but it does look a bit too smooth in my opinion. So overall, you can use this if you want to recover some footage and it's a great way to enhance your videos a little bit with AI. Now we can do the same thing with images. We can make it sharper and give it more clarity. And now let me show you another tool that I actually use a lot, which is the watermark editor. So what this tool does, it can remove a watermark or it can add a watermark to your videos. So let's say I want to add a watermark to my video. I have my video right here. Now I load it in and now I can add a watermark. Let's say you want to add in your logo. You can do that right here or you can also type in a text. So if you click on text type, then you can enter in your text. I'm going to do Dan. 
Now, if you like your watermark, then you can just click on add watermark and now your watermark will be added in there. And now it will export it as a watermark. I could also reframe it and position it a little bit different, make it smaller, make it bigger, change the transparency. It can all be done through this tool. So now this is what my video looks like with the watermark. We can see like throughout the entire video, we have my watermark in there. And now let's see what it looks like if we were to remove this watermark again. So I import the video right there and now I will remove the watermark. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select the area and then I'm going to drag it over my watermark. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller and depending on what kind of background you have, uh, you might need to make it a little bigger or like a little bit smaller. And now we can remove the watermark and now boom, it's removing the watermark. So here's our video with the watermark removed. Here's a tool that I would recommend. So this works really great on videos where the background is the same. But let me give you an example of another video that I tried this out one. And here it looks as followed. So the watermark was supposed to be on top of it right here. So as you can see, while it's moving, you can still there's some type of glitch effect going on. Another reason why this is a must have on every desktop is because it also has a screen recorder. So it literally has everything built into one tool. So I use this a lot when recording my screen. So let's say you want to record your screen, you just click on this and then you have three different options. You have the screen recorder, webcam recorder and audio recorder. And the quality of it is really good. Now, once you hit record the screen, here you can select the area that you want to record. So let's say you want to select your entire screen, then you just drag it over and then you move it like this. And now your screen has been selected. So I just want to do it like this. And now we can like lock the aspect ratio as well. And here we can also select if we want to record the sound or if we want to record like a microphone, let's say you want to use your iPhone, you can use that as well. Or we can also use our webcam. Now, once you're ready, you click on record and now it will start recording your screen into high quality. So now we have that going on. We can see over here, like what's going on. We can also draw on the screen. So anything that you need, if you give like a presentation and you want to show something like this, then you can just simply draw on the screen. Now, these are the tools that I use the most within Uniconverter, but it also has some other cool tools, which are like an auto highlight. And what this does, it is goes through like your video and then it automatically identifies the best part of your video and it will extract them as an highlight clip. Besides that, if you want to transform your content into like shorter content, then you can use the scene detection. And what this will do is it will search up for a transition and then it will cut it up into pieces. So you have different clips from them. So that's basically how I use Wondershare Uniconverter. If you want to try it out for yourself, then click the link in the description down below. Now, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos that are edited with AI, then click the video that's on the screen right now and I will see you in the next one.